In this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I will show you how to create portrait video clips from landscape video clips. We'll also show you how to recenter the video and create a simple pan effect using keyframes. I'm going to assume you have a basic understanding of editing in uh, Resolve and also you know how to render the final video. If you're looking for um, some beginners tutorials, have a look at my YouTube page and in the playlists, you should find a playlist for DaVinci Resolve video editing. Got a few here. Okay. So the first thing you need to do is set up the um, view and the aspect ratio. The easiest way to do this um, is to come down to this little cog here at the bottom, project settings, select this, and you will have to, obviously you've got your um, different um, sizes here. The default one is 1920 by um, 1080, and for, especially if you're doing shorts or um, multimedia for TikTok, whatever, stick with um, the, that this sort of aspect ratio but reverse it so what i'm going to do here where it says 1920 i'm going to type in 1080 where it says 1080 i'm going to type in 1920. i would also set the frame rate up to match your video um so i'm going to set this up at 25 frames a second incidentally the video i'm bringing in is actually hd uh, sorry 4k or uhd so it's actually a larger aspect ratio than this but it doesn't matter this here is the the frame rate you'll render at so i could bring in a 60 frame a second video and still use 25 frames a second anyway i'm going to just select save and now if i Drag the video I'm going to use into the project bin and then drag it down into the timeline. When it sorted itself out, this will happen. Now I find the easiest way to resize this, um, especially in DaVinci Resolve, is at the top of the screen, you've got something called Inspector. If you select this, you can change your sizes and your positions. You can also reset any of these by selecting these little arrowed circles. So if I select any of these buttons here, or all of them, this little triangle here, it'll go red. I can use this for keyframing. So for instance, if I just drag this to the right making sure that this is um, locked this chain link I can increase the size to fill the screen now at any point if I came along here say I could actually place another keyframe straight away by doing this Now if I want to place a keyframe and not change anything, I've actually got to physically select this. You'll also find there's arrows next to these, at this sort of uh, triangle. So I can come back to each keyframe or I can go forward to each keyframe. So what I've effectively done here is I've actually zoomed in. In fact, I'll kill the sound because these docks are a bit loud. So I said, I've actually zoomed in. What I'm going to do is just reset this here and I'm going to, I don't really need keyframes on this instance, but I am going to set keyframes next to position. So again, making sure this chain link is highlighted. I'm going to drag this up in sight until it fills the screen. And I'm going to look for a view that might be interesting. So let's just go with these ducks here. Now, towards the end of the video, the actual it gets a bit more interesting because the ducks sort of jump out of the 
stuck pond but if i play this now i won't see the right hand side all i'll see is these ducks arguing in the water now when you either jump to the end or play to the end you're actually at the next frame for your next video so you'll have to use your left arrow key just to bring yourself back by one frame and in this instance now if i drag this over i sh probably should have cut the end of this video clip it's a bit blurred here but this will do it will also set another keyframe up so if i go back to the beginning i can actually now pan or this is actually now panning and that's basically all there is to it really like i said you can sort of uh, restart by selecting these any position you make a change you will automatically create a keyframe any position you don't make a change you can still select these buttons here to create a, um, a keyframe and that is all there is to it i'm not going to go into um, exporting the video like i said at the beginning i've assumed you have some knowledge of working in resolve so thank you for watching and hopefully this helps somebody cheers